Hi, everybody. My name is Phyllis Y. Whitley. Yes, 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 yes. And we are live. Yes, we are. Although this is a recording, we're going to, we're not going to tell nobody. If you have been spiritually victimized or traumatized, welcome to Spiritology Live, where I bring my number one Amazon bestseller book to life. Yes, I do. Each episode will be a raw, spiritual, metaphysical, and holistic space of consciousness for self-healing as you learn how to break your religious shackles, to master and manifest your promised land today. You know, every time I turn around, I'm doing something different, but we're going to say, let's go. Hi, everybody. You know what we get ready to do? We get ready to reveal some of y'all, expose some of y'all. We are going to expose those who have not been successful because they chose to stay stuck. Stuck in what? Stuck in just not creating. Stuck in not doing anything for their future. Well, what am I talking about? Last episode was about books. The book that you supposed to have created five years ago, ten years ago. Why am I discussing this? Is because I have met so many people through my journey this year traveling to promote my book and meeting so many wonderful authors. I also met people who are wannabe authors. People who actually go and they get into groups that tell them to go ahead and do it the easy way. And that's where you pay to get somebody else copyright. And then you'll go ahead and you, you'll put it together. You don't do anything. You just put your name, slap your name on it. And some of you just go straight through technology, uh, AI, don't know what you're right and don't understand and that you need to have a book need to be coming from your heart. It's supposed to be your wisdom. Not AI wisdom. AI is there to assist you. But you have to give AI the tools to assist you. Why did I say that? It's because people who are just getting these books, copywriting, then they want you to go ahead and review. I had an incident where I, I said to a girl and I read her book. And most books that I do read and come across, I try to read a lot of books. And one of them, you know, it was short, but it made a lot of sense. And when I approached this person and said, hey, let me interview you, they didn't do it. And I was like scratching my head, what's going on? And I started realizing that a lot of people just think that once you get a book and you put it on Amazon, you're going to become rich. Give me a review. Give me a review. It has nothing to do with it. 100 people can review your book. You're not going to really make money until it gets into the New York Times. Bestseller. You understand? Last time I looked, I don't have a limousine outside. And I got like 13 books. I am qualified to speak to you today. Not because I have 13 books, but because I, I got past the first stuck place. The first book, Spiritology. I talked about in the last podcast, I talked about you and your reasons for being stuck. Lack of time, overwhelmed. And we explain that. You can go back and listen to that. We explain those little woes that keep you from going to go. You got to get past and go to go. Go through go. Remember? The old game Monopoly. What was the name of that? I think that was it. Not Monopoly. Oh, I used to love it. Go past, get past, go, and then sometimes you get into the jail and have to have a pass. But guess what? Some you yeah, don't even have a pass. Do you know why? Because you are your own worst enemy. I told you that the benefit of your book, 
if you focus on who you want that book to get in the hands of, the group, the audience, yes, that's important. And you will know it. You probably won't know until you get to your introduction. But it doesn't matter because you're not going to go to Amazon and say, I want these books, unless it's a children's book. I want this book to go into the hands of women over 55. I have heard so many excuses in 2024 because I tried to reach out and help a lot of people get out there. Some people was ready to go. And the thing about it is some people just want a freebie. I have helped people and will help people. And my price is nowhere compared to what you're going to be paying. But you don't want to get cheap, cheap, cheap because you don't want to produce cheap, cheap, cheap. You don't want to manifest it. We talked about manifestation. We talked about when you pray, oh, I prayed, I prayed and prayed. If God wanted me to have a book, no, 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 no. God said when you go and pray for him, you supposed to act like you know as those things you pray is already done because he heard you before you turned around and went in your prayer closet. Yes, he did. And yet you sit here and you say, well, if, if God wanted me to have both, God is waiting for you. It's, I want you to stop and think about who you want your book to go to, the group, the audience. And I want you to say to yourself, close your eyes and think about them. Think about that young boy, young girl that needs your book, that elderly couple, the, the newlywed, the single mother of six, five, four, three, two, one. Close your eyes and say to them, I have a story to tell you. Now open your eyes and tell them, but I'm not going to do it because I'm stuck. I can't tell you because I'm stuck. I don't have time. We talked about that. You make time. I have a product to give you. I do makeup. I do hair. I do extensions. It's so much that you do. YouTube University is all about those people who said, I got to just do it. It's some things I looked at um, when I want to know anything from uh, cooking a, ve a veggie meal to what is the best vitamin to go in my body. One of the doctors, that's, that's uh, lots of doctors, holistic doctors are on YouTube. It can be for a dance step. It can be for a painting. Everything you need to know is really, I trust YouTube instead of Hollywood tube. That's a whole nother podcast. You know why? Because if those people didn't go past go, you would not have anybody to watch on YouTube. What is your excuse? Remember, my podcast is for you to live in your promised land. Those of you who have been beaten up spiritually, the seeds that have been put upon your ancestors, and put upon you by your co-workers, so-called friends, so-called family, to tell you that you are nothing. Why? Who are you to go forth and write a book? Who are you to create a product? How about, you? Know, could you imagine how many people was in the ears of the Wright brothers? The ears of the person who, uh, who developed, oh my goodness, Coca-Cola, Amazon, YouTube, the Toyota, any, the truck, the best truck that you like. <laughs> the, the building that you in, the house that was built. And they had to close out the noise and keep moving. We would have no planes if and, and, and of course, God could have went to somebody else if the Wright brothers didn't do their job. And he can do that to you. You don't want to write that book that's going to help a young girl who just came out of abusive parents. 
someone who's been abused, somebody who has been used, someone who has been victimized, ask yourself, you don't want to help them? They need your voice. People need you. They need you the way you look. Your uniqueness is going to help that unique child that's be, being bullied in school. Your uniqueness in the clothes and the styles you wear is going to help the one who just don't want to be want to wear what the people are wearing. They want to wear fun clothes, encouraging clothes, vibrant colors. I, I hope I'm making my point. And when I actually spoke about that on my last um, Stuck to Success podcast, I wanted you to do write something in the comment about what are you stuck in? Is it a book? Is it a product? It could be a lot of things. It could be something I didn't discuss earlier in the last podcast was owning your own business. By the time this podcast ends, do me a favor. Go write the title of the book. And what, what, what did I say in the beginning, in the first podcast? I am equipped, because look what I did in three weeks. I just, I just manifested also a beautiful cruise. What happened? I didn't develop the cruise, but I knew what I wanted. And then all of a sudden, somebody notified me and said, hey, we have a, a cruise. It will come. You will attract these things. Laws of attraction, you will attract these things. That doesn't mean you don't know God because God made the universe. He owns everything. And different names are out there because it's only one God. But everybody, they know what they have, their dinner, they call it something different. Every country calls something different. Every country have, they don't say hi. Like American people, it's different ways of saying hi. It's different ways of trying to get across people who your father God is. And one of the things that you need to do to reach these people, you probably wonder, what is, is it for you? What's was was in it for you is not only are you walking in your promised land and helping other people you can be monetized yes stuck from from stuck to success turning your passion into profit this is what it's all about i want you to realize you can get paid for your side hustle you can get paid even you the best cook on the block in the community? You can get paid for fixing other people's meal. You know how to paint? You love art? You love to do art? You may do art and say, I just, you know, the, that, that industry is just too big for me. That may be your excuse. But how about the people that actually is into art and they went into tattooing? I've set up there and I know because I have a few tattoos and I've seen them sit up there and get hundreds of dollars. Some of them is a thousand, over a thousand dollars to do a whole sleeve. Your art can be on somebody's permanent, permanent body skin. <clears throat> the body will go back to the dirt. <clears throat> do you see how I did that? And if you go get a book, I this is a this is a children's book. Similar to that'll be my next thing, you know, like a comic. You can take the book and you can do podcasts. You can take the book and you can have the shirt. The shirt. You can go into t-shirts. You, know, you can do um, cups. It's a hundred things. You can do the earrings. Somebody made these. I didn't say this in my last podcast. Yes. I think it's Celisa in Houston. She's from originally from New Orleans. I think I got that right. She was the table in front of me with her cousin selling a book. And look at the her earrings are excellent. Don't go looking for it because I know we we I understand some people just copycats and they just gotta go. They'll find it. That's why I love people that's creative. You have to be creative. But 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 I mean 
Miss P, my book is different. My book is so and so. I was shocked to go into the book fair in Houston. I was surprised to go in there and see young people who made uh, fantasy uh, fiction. I think I have that right. And it was like young people doing comic books, children books. I was like, wow. You know, some of them had their mother with them and some of them didn't. So what I'm saying to you is your focus is to helping people, but your, your focus should also be changing your side hustle. And I say side hustle because some people cook so good and they only do it for free. Some people bake cakes so good and they only do it for free. And struggling, struggling. Remember the prophet Elijah? When he told the, the woman, the when she was sitting up there, the widow woman with a child, you understand that was really marketing. <laughs> Sales. She went out there and she gathered all the things that he needed to make a miracle. So what am I saying to you is the miracle is in your hand. Some of y'all sit there, I just don't know. You can cook. You can dance. You can do a dance. You can do an instruction. You can be an instructor for somebody. Some of you speak another language. Why are you not helping anybody? Oh, I don't think I speak that good. Well, help those that don't know nothing about a, a particular language and help them know the basis. I do good here. I know, listen, I know people who do great here. Twist, dreadlocks. Why you don't have a business? I know they don't want to tell you to do it in your home, but you can, some of y'all got basements, attics. Literally, you can do all of that. You can go ahead and turn that into, you know, a salon. What's the tips and the steps? The tip is you can go ahead and have these things as your own business. And you can do it in your home. But you have to take this step. The step, the first step is go register your business. Get a name. The next step, if you're going to do a book, get the name of the book. You know who you want to talk to because you know where your pain started, what age. The next step is what products do you like? Some people just want mugs. They just want mugs on it. They just want to put black art, Asian art, whatever. T-shirts. People have, Some people have a statement. They want to express their self with a T-shirt. They want to say something. Do it. Put your art on there. Tattoo. I got it up here. I'm not going to show you. Do the tattoo. It is so many jobs out there. Don't be fooled. What is the point I'm trying to make? Turn your passion into a profit. What's wrong with that? You love homes? Become a real estate agent. I know people that love numbers. I told somebody, one of my clients, I said, take that and, and go into being a loan officer. Giving out loans. You, lo you know the numbers and stuff. And they said, yeah, matter of fact, I'm going to take the test. So what you want to do is create your products. You want to create your service. You're going to build that audience. You can build it through social media or even word of mouth. Some of you just want a little small group. And some of you feel you want the world. I want my book to get across to the United States. And it has. So you can use social media to get out there. You can use word of mouth. Some of you just want to be a speaker, motivational speaker. Get one book and go and start speaking. Speaking, yes. I did my real real speaking. Well, I, I've been speaking on with my group, but I went to um, shout out to Doc, the Doc Bookstore in Texas. And I went over there and we spoke on the panel about our books. You can speak all day long. Someone tell, told me, a wise 
a person, or should I say a prophetess, said, you can take the, your book, my first book. She said, you can go ahead and you can talk about that all day long. And I do it on my podcast. So what am I saying? You're not doing it for the money, but you will be surprised that the time you take to make these, to give people your gift. You can take that time and make that time money time. You want to go ahead and get somebody that's going to hold you accountable. I said this in the last podcast because you want to come, you want to enter to success and you want to leave that S of stuck. And you want to go ahead and move past it, move past the past feeling of stuckness. You know you stuck when you are in 15 years later, 30 years later, you say, I want to write a book. You know what you want to write about? This frustrates me so much. Oh, I want to write this about. But let me tell you something else. It's people out there who you can literally, you got to make sure. Write a book for them. Do everything for them. Do the cover and everything. They don't want to do anything. They don't want, they think that everything going to fall from the sky. They don't want to market it. They don't want to speak about it. And they just sit up there and do it and take the book and don't want to do nothing. That's why when I do books, I have to do it with people who's going to value the book that they have. And they don't have to go around the world, but they can say, hey, wait a minute. I'm going to add this to my list of resumes. Hey, this is what I did. And see, then they're going to look and see the author. So I'm going to get mine. So I'm not worrying about that because God will reward me. But it gives me pleasure to see somebody with a book that I actually designed and did and illustrated along with my daughter. It gives me pleasure because your promised land is not for you. It's for everybody else. Well, that don't really make sense. And I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to go out there and bang it on people's door. You don't have to bang on people's door. If you know how to bake a cake, everybody already, you already got your audience. If you go and speak and volunteer at the abuse center, you already got your audience. And you want to speak about that abuse because you've been there, you got your audience. If you are artists and you want to express your art on people's skin as tattoos or in the book or even in a t-shirt or even a mug, you got your audience. You should have your audience because some of you do the tattoos for free in your home. I, I, I won't tell nobody. How many years you've been doing here? How many years you've been doing dreadlocks? How many years you've been doing locks? How many years have you been braiding in somebody in your own house or going to people's house? Go get a truck. It's full trucks out there. How many, you and your wife, you and your husband, you and your family know how to cook a mean, good meal. Get together and get a full truck. I hope I named everything that I can name, but it is somewhat. You like to drive? Do you understand? Uber, start with Uber and then start doing professional driving around the United States. Everybody, even in your own country, it's people, it's elderly people that need to get to and fro. Charge them a small fee. Oh, no, I would never charge nobody for whatever. But continue to do what you're doing. And if you broke, you broke, you're going to stay broke. Because you have bills and God knows you have bills. You have to get in the position where you are comfortable enough that you can bless somebody else. And when you realize that, you won't be stuck. Yes, you're going to have writer's block if you do in a book. Yes, you're going to think, well, what should I do? What I, you can do it. Time is probably your worst enemy, but time is not going to stand still for nobody. So I really hope you got something out of this, but I challenge all of y'all to write down one way you can monetize your talent. I need you to take action. First action is name your business. Name the book. Name, name your business. It, this is going to be your own business. It might be a nonprofit business. And I encourage you to realize that success is within your reach once you move past feeling stuck. 
Stuck is an enemy, the enemy, that is keeping you down. But you can literally walk past it. I have. I have walked past it. And if you need help, well, Miss P, I don't have anybody to help me. I'm here to help me, to help you. I'm here to help me, too. <laughs> I got to help me help you get out of your stuckness. Okay. So I thank you. I really, really thank you for listening to this podcast. And next year, 2025, write your goal. You're going to have the book. You're going to have the product. You're going to have the design, the art, all of that, 2025. And once you get the first one, you'll get addicted and go and say, now I want to do this again, and I want to do it again. But remember, have fun mm -hmm. doing it. And be grateful that somebody is. Somebody is waiting for you. Somebody need to hear your voice. I don't care. The voice might not come through the through the body that they wanted to come. The message, the messenger might not be what they look like. They want it to look like. Surprise them. Say hello. God works in mysterious ways. Well, listen. Thank you for coming to my space. Now go get your promised land. You know what that promised land is? It's that book product, mm -hmm. cake, food, oh my goodness, health, you're trying to bring health to people, it might be you just an expert with numbers, expert with finances, that's your promised land, and remember to share, like, subscribe, because I don't know who you know, don't miss the opportunity to buy what's new, what is new is Xander speak about bullies. Bully but unbroken. Yes, available everywhere. And remember, if loving yourself is right, you do not want to be wrong. I'm out. <laughs>